Listen, man. Today's video is basically gonna be the best of both worlds. I dropped the Demigod point forward bill. Some people said they won't hire shooting. I dropped the 61 PG bill. People said it's good, but either give me some more height or give me better defense. I dropped the 65 guy shooting guard bill. They said I get a little bit more dunking. So this build that I'm making in this video is gonna be the best of both worlds. Like you're gonna be able to dominate in park, stage, rec. Pro M, you could go play quick match with your player. They probably not gonna be able to stop you in my career on Hoff. So let's get straight into it, man. So basically what we gonna do for this build, well, man, I got a lot of builds, but what we gonna do for this build right out gate is, you gotta make him a point guard for sure. Make him whatever your number is, y'all know how that go. Boom. So you gonna make him 6'3", and the reason that you're gonna make him 6'3", is because the 6'3 gonna get more badges and he move a little bit faster than the 6'4". So that's why we gonna be doing that. You could drop your you could drop your weight all the way to 170, or you could do the weight glitch. I know a lot of people doing the weight glitch now. 6'8 or 6'9 wingspan both works. 6'9 probably if you want to, you know, make more of an impact. You know, you make them slight. Continue. So right out gate, we gonna get you an 84 driving dunk because this is the mini contacts. This is the mini contacts, and you gonna put your vert to 75. Just in case y'all didn't know, the caps for everything is usually if it's a regular dunk, your vertical has to be 20 off from your driving dunk, but for contact dunks, it's 84.75 and 92.85. So just in case y'all didn't know that. Boom, we're going to put our stem all the way up to 90 right out gate. We're going to put our acceleration to 86. So when you do your drills, your acceleration is going to be 90. And the movement on this game is pretty slow already. So you don't need that much on your build in the first place anyways. Your speed, my speed on the build I would make would be 76. But I know a lot of y'all cry about speed because y'all don't understand that off the ball, your movement doesn't even matter because you don't have to be that fast. Because your speed has nothing to do with your lateral quickness. It has nothing to do with your uh, reaction time. It's just literally how fast you run up and down the court off the ball. That means when you're not guarding the ball. If I'm standing in the corner and I race you up and down the court, that's what your speed is. So I would put it at 76 to get it at 80 after drills. But we're going to put it at 80 because I know a lot of people have been crying. And once again, this build is just going to be the best of both worlds. So boom, we're going to put our ball handling. We're going to get you goal handles for days. A lot of people said on the other shooting guard build, they wanted to dribble a little bit more. So we're going to get you your goal handles for days. And we're going to put our speed with ball at 86. We already get off quick for our steps. You ain't going to need your speed with ball to be that much faster because you're going to move regardless. Pass act, you can put it at 75. But I'm going to try to get you an 80 right now. And we're going to tweak it towards the end. We're going to put our close shot down to 49 for right now. Three-pointer, we're going to get you 92 so you can get goal limitless. We're going to put our free, oh, we can't put our free throw down because it's already ratio. And then steel, we're going to put our steel at a 78 for right now. And we're going to put our perimeter to 86 to get you the silver clamps. Now, for the people who think you're going to play park, you're not going to need that much interior or block because you should just be sending the people to your center anyways. Like, if you want to tweak this build to give it some interior, that's you. But you shouldn't have to do that. But we got you silver interceptor and we got you silver clamps so far, right? But you need to get you... As of right now, if you were going to finish this build, when you get your plus fours from welcome to whatever, whatever it's called, welcome to the league, you're going to need to put it all on slashing. So we're going to try to get you a few more, a few more slashing badges as of right now. You can sacrifice pass. I know a lot of y'all, especially if you play in the park, you want 75. But if you're looking to put this build in record pro M, you're going to need it on the 80. But if you put your, but if you put your pass act at 75, you can get your slashing badges and you can put your, when you get your plus fours, you can put them anywhere. That's if you want to sacrifice pass act. You feel me? But if you don't want to sacrifice your pass act, what was this on? Before uh, it was going to take everything else down. Uh, dang, what was it all? Okay, boom. If you don't want to sacrifice your pass act and you want to keep it at like an 80-ish, then you either gonna have to go with this, sacrifice your silver interceptor, sacrifice your steal a little bit, or something of that nature. Like you're gonna have to figure out where you want to sacrifice something as far as everything else. That's that's basically what it's gonna be. Like right now, it's just gonna be you gotta sacrifice something. So the reason I think this uh, build is the best of both worlds, basically, as of right now, is because. You get contact dunks, and you're able to get contact dunks without the stick, and you're able to get contact dunks with the stick. You get the three-pointer at 92, because I know a lot of people with my point forward build, it's amazing for the park, but some people DM me and said they want it, or commented and said they wanted a higher three ball. You get 80 pass accuracy. If this is for, if this is a park primary build, 
you will only need 75. If you are trying to take this into every game mode, maybe in a stage, you might need an 80 because I'm seeing people got max badges and stuff already. If you're taking this into record Pro-Am, you'll be fine with a 75. If you're playing comp Pro-Am, you're, you, you're gonna need 80 for this because this build is able to play point guard and most of y'all are gonna make this build to play the, to play the one position. Also, with this build, you don't have to put your perimeter up as high, but I know a lot of people wanted to. But like I said, if this was my build, I'm going to tell you what I would do if this was me. But as of right now, like I would say, you look at this, and this is just a preset. Put all your statistics right here and tweak it to where the build is what you want to make it. But as of right now, this is a demigod. But I would put my speed to 76, and then I would upgrade everything else. I would give myself... I would give myself I would, I would try to get myself the, uh, as close to 16 slashing badges as possible so everything is a lot easier. That's what I would do if this was my build, but that's that's not that's not the that's not the preset that's gonna get you where you need to be so we put this back to 80 and we put our steel back to 78 for the silver interceptor and you can get some for your potential badge points for uh, what's the name we actually gonna put speed down like 79 real quick because i'm trying to get you as close to 16 slashing badges as possible so it's easier to get your t3 cores because you're gonna need 16 slashing badges to activate to get posterizer or to get limitless takeoff so i'm trying to make sure i can Get you a little something. See what I got to do to get you your close shot a little bit more. Okay, 14 is close enough, and then you just got to waste two. Then you just got to waste your two badge points out of Welcome to the League on this, and then waste your other two badge points on anything else. So this is basically the build. You get contact dunks. You get goal handles for days and elite dribble sigs. You got 80 pass act. I showed you how you can sacrifice your build to make it better. You can sacrifice pass accuracy. You can sacrifice speed. You can sacrifice your perimeter or steel. You can even sacrifice your three if you want to. So basically, we're going to continue this. Primary takeover, if this is for the park, I'm thinking play badge first because I'm hearing you get crazy ankle breakers with this build. And as you can see, you can get lock badge on this as well. So that's making it a little bit better. But if this is for the park, I'm thinking you should get play badge first. Team ratings boost is the best one. It ups your team ratings by 20. 15, actually, it, up, it, it ups everybody's attributes on the court up by 15. If you pass the ball to them, I believe it's 20. So if they miss, you literally can call them horrible at the game. Limitless range will be second. You know, if you stand to chop and pop from half court, you do what you got to do. Other than that, negative impact is pretty OP this year, especially if your time and your fade's good. So, but what I would do is I would get play badge first on this build, and then I would either get lock badge or I would get a sharp badge, but it's up to you. But that's basically the build. I hope y'all all enjoy this build. It's the best of both worlds. It's what everybody been asking for. This is probably the last build I'm going to be dropping, and the build. this is also the build that if you stop by my stream, I'm most likely using as of right now but i love every single one of y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe make sure y'all stop by the twitch splash and say what's good ask whatever questions i read probably every comment that i can you can ask anybody who be in my chat and make sure everybody have a blessed day peace